I'm here with a different kind of video. I feel like I say that every single video, but this one's kind of different, I think. Um, I am going to share with you my favorite spring trends. Um, spring is just around the corner. Actually, I believe today is the first day of spring. Happy spring. There's a ton of snow outside and that makes me really sad. It's like a high of 14 today. Um, but I'm still embracing spring, holding on, waiting for this warm weather to come, and I'm so excited. I cannot wait till it is warm outside. But I wanted to share with you today my favorite spring trends, fashion and beauty side. Um, there are so many trends out there, let me tell you. Oh my gosh, there are so many. But these are my favorite, and these are the ones that I have been like obsessed with and embraced into my life. I did a whole blog post on fashion trends and beauty trends that I have been loving. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video and if you want to see my favorite spring trends, keep on watching. Okay, so we are gonna start with fashion first, of course. One trend that I have been obsessed with, I'm like, I want everything in this color, is hot pink. Okay, so I have a couple pieces. <sighs> Sorry, they're like really far. I have a couple pieces that I'm like so obsessed with, and I love this trend because I feel like I've been seeing so many ways to wear it. They're, it's so versatile, like everything I see with it is so versatile. So the first thing that I have is my hot pink J. Crew toothpick pants. Um, I am obsessed with these pants. They are a little wrinkly because I actually had to pull them out of their dirty clothes because I've already worn them to work. I love these, they're amazing. Um, I wear them, I can like wear them really casual with like a navy and white striped shirt. I can dress it up with like a really pretty blouse. There's just so many ways I can wear this and I'm just obsessed. And I don't know if you watched one of my hauls where I got these, I got them for $15. J. Crew pants, they were originally like 125 bucks for $15. I think that's the steal of the century. Um, the next kind of hot pink thing I have is this blazer. Again, I've been seeing so many ways to wear a hot, hot pink blazer. Seriously, I think everyone needs one of these. I got it at Forever 21. It was like 30 bucks. Again, you can dress it down, dress it up. There's just so many ways you can wear this, and I just love this color, and it's so complimentary on so many skin tones, so many people. I just love it. I just love this trend. So that is one fashion trend that I have been loving. Okay, the next one I have been seeing so much lately in like stores and everywhere. I've just been seeing it everywhere is neon. Now, I am not a huge fan of like bright neon everything. Like I wear and rock my hot pink, but other neon colors, I just can't wear boldly. I need to tone it down, but I really like the trend. So I'm going to show you some pieces that I kind of make with this trend, if that makes sense. Um, the first thing is this hot yellow neon belt. Holy moly. I don't even know if this is going to pick up the color. It is so freaking bright, but it's a great waist belt to cinch any kind of outfit with. And it's just that pop of neon. You can wear this with a really, really neutral top and pair this over it, and you kind of have a pop of your neon there. You don't have to go out and buy a shirt that is this color. That's way too much for me. I know what you're thinking. Um, but if you just accessorize with these hot neon colors, it's a great way to accessorize. Another thing that I have that I wear all the time is neon little headbands, uh, or headbands, hair bands, like for your hair. But you can also wear them around your wrist like this, and it's kind of like a bracelet, like a neon bracelet. Um, so definitely this is a way to kind of, I don't know, just kind of put that pop of neon that you want in your outfit and accessorize with. The other thing I have is this clutch. It's just a really, really bright neon blue clutch. This is from Express. Oh, the belt is from Francesca's Collections Express. And it's just a great way of kind of 
bringing in that neon without going overboard. Another trend that I've been absolutely loving and I already actually have so much of this trend in my closet and all I had to do was kind of dig through my collection and it is weathered jewelry. I love this trend. I love weathered jewelry already so this trend was really easy for me to kind of grab onto. This is a kind of like a, I don't know, it's like a, has like different like coin like shapes and metals and I don't know I just thought it was such a cool cool necklace and I don't know if you could see like the coin I don't even know what metal coin I don't know I call it the coin necklace um, it's like weathered and kind of like destroyed and I just think it's such a cool piece and I love this for even summertime and this is from The Loft and the other thing that I have to show you that is kind of like a weathered piece are these awesome earrings. If I can show you there. Um, they're just like square, um, I don't even know. They're not teardrop, they're like squared hoopy earrings. And um, I love them, I think they're awesome. They're really, really weathered um, and kind of like destroyed looking. I actually got these at a small boutique in Park City, Utah, and they were made by an artist um, that I guess creates jewelry for this boutique, and I love these earrings. They're just so awesome and unique and different, and I love, love, love weathered jewelry. Okay, the next thing that I have are sheer tops. Oh my gosh, sheer tops are like huge this spring. You see them everywhere you go. Everywhere you go, you see sheer tops. I personally love this trend because I think it's such an easy way to dress up an outfit. Um, now, within your sheer tops, you can go even trendier. Um, I have this kind of minty green, sea foamy green sheer top. Um, this is from Rue 21. I got it for like 10 bucks. Um, super cheap and I love these sheer tops. This is such an easy way. Wear them with black pants or you can wear them with jeans to dress it down and it's such a, such a cute, cute way to be trendy. Um, the next one I have is actually a top that I wore in an outfit. Um, this is from Forever 21 and you can wear your sheer tops with patterns on it. And this one has a polka dot pattern and I just think it's so cute. It has the short sleeves and it has like little buttons and it has the mandarin collar. And I just think it's so cute and it's just a nice sheer top to have. Okay, the last fashion trend that I have for you is actually kind of this one kind of goes along with the last one um, this is a sheer top but it is a trend that I love and it is floral floral every single year you can never go wrong with anything floral for spring you just can't it's always a trend it will always be trending for spring um, so I have this sheer top um, it's from forever 21 it has this really small it's like a smaller print which I I personally like when I go to prints I like them smaller um, just so it's not so bold on my body um, and it's very flattering that way um, and this is has a gray and very soft like pastel pink on it um, it's just a really easy way the thing I love about this shirt is it has this drawstring in the back and then it kind of cinches your bust line. It doesn't cinch your waist, it cinches like right below your bust line or like where your bust line is. And that is the smallest part of your body and you want to accentuate the smallest part of your body. So I love this shirt, I think it's so cute and it's floral and springy and all that. And then the last thing I have is a scarf. It is a floral print. I got this at Target last year and I know I can wear this this spring. It's a floral print and it's just really, really cute for spring. I lied, I have one more trend. Um, huge, huge, huge this spring is, well, one thing that's huge is black and white. I'm not huge on black and white. I like gray. I like the middle ground. Um, but that is a huge trend, and a huge trend as well is laser cut accessories. I love this trend. I think it's so cute in a way to kind of put almost like a florally print into a different way of accessorizing. And I have this tote, this is from Aldo. It was gifted to me and I love it. And I think it's just a really cute way to bring in laser cut. Um, 
You can go with your sandals. Um, some really cute shoes have, um, I think I saw some at Target that have the laser cut and I think it's just such a cute trend and I'm really loving it. Okay, let's get into some beauty trends that I have been loving for spring. Um, the first one, you're not going to be surprised. If you watch my videos, you're not going to be surprised. It is the neutral nail polish trend. I'm obsessed with neutral nail polish. It's become really bad. Like, I just can't help it. I love all these beautiful neutral colors and... They're just so easy to wear because you can wear them with any kind of outfit. You can wear this crazy, bright, hot pink blazer and bold colors on your body and then pair it with a neutral nail polish and it's gorgeous. So um, my favorites that I have in my hand here, um, three by OPI and one by Zoya. Um, the first OPI one is Samoan Sand. It's just a basic nude color. Um, I feel like this is just like the perfect nude nail polish. I love it. It's really awesome. It's perfect. I love it. I don't know. Um, and then the next one is from their new, newer, it's a newer collection from their Euro Central collection. It is My Vampire's Buff. It's just this off-white cream color and I love it. It looks beautiful on the nails. It's perfect for the neutral nail trend. Um, the last one, I just got this actually a couple days ago. It is the OPI Play the Peonies and it's just like a pearly, pinky, off-whitish color. It's like so pale pink that it's almost white um, and it has like a pearlescence to it and it's just really pretty and I love this. I actually really like this when you pair it over like Right now I'm wearing like kind of this pastel-y, purpley color. If you put this over any pastel like cream color, it makes it like pearlescent and more pastel. I don't know. I just really like it. But I really love this nail polish for the neutral trend. And the last one I have is Zoya and Farah. And I have blogged about this, talked about this so many times. I love this nail polish. Zoya nail polishes are awesome. And this is just a really pretty nude color. So love nude nail polish okay the next kind of spring trend but i feel like every spring it comes around you know you come into spring coming so drab and feeling kind of dry and dull from winter and you really want to amp up your face and have a fresh dewy face and for me my go-to dewy face is from the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation. This gives me the perfect dewy fresh look face. I love this foundation. I think it is maybe a holy grail for me. I absolutely love it. Um, it is a little bit um, light on the coverage. I would say light to medium coverage, but it's just like perfect. I don't know what it is about it. It's just perfect on my skin. I love it and I highly suggest it for a fresh dewy look. Okay, next trend going along with the fresh dewy kind of look is cream blushes. I think cream blushes give you that perfect dewy fresh face look. You don't want to look powdery or cakey and this is perfect for spring. Um, the first one, I love their cream blushes. All of their cream blushes are absolutely amazing. This is the only one I own, but I love them all because I go into stores and I like touch them and look at them. Um, but I'm so excited I have this one. This is the NYX Cream Blush in Natural, and it's just a really basic pink natural color. Um, it's really perfect, and it just... It's really, really good, and it lasts a really long time. Those NYX cream blushes are perfect. And the next one I have is actually, this is a lip and cheek color by MAC, and it is in the color Relaxation, and I love this color. It is the exact, it's a dupe, well, the dupe for this is Revlon's Prim Rose for your lips. Oh my gosh, they're exactly the same. It's not even funny. Like completely the same but I put this on my cheeks and it's so pretty it's almost like a it's pink but it has like a lavender undertone to it 
and I just think it's beautiful, perfect for spring, perfect for that fresh kind of dewy look to your face. Another beauty trend that I have been loving and I've been a little scared of it, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm starting to emerge myself in it, is the bright, bright neon bold lip. It reminds me a little bit of the 80s or the 90s, early 90s, but I'm digging it. Um, the Maybelline Vivids collection is the perfect way to kind of immerse yourself into this trend. If you are a little scared, they're super cheap. They're, I think I found them for like $5.50 at Walmart, super cheap. So if you are a little scared, maybe get one or two or just, you know, ease your way into the trend. Um, I have, from the Vivids collection, I have Pink Pop, which I did a tutorial on, and this is more like a blue-toned pink. Um, really bright, really bright, but I really, really like this color. I think it's a really pretty color, just kind of your basic blue-based pink. And then, of course, I have another color. It is in Fuchsia Flash, Holy moly, be prepared. It is a bright, bright neon fuchsia pink color. And again, I think this is so pretty on and it's just so pretty to look at. Even if I never wore it, I just think it's beautiful. Um, I definitely think these are a great fun trend to try out and this is a really affordable way to try that out. Um, and then the last spring trend I have for you is actually I'm wearing on my eyes today. I'm kind of going crazy, people. Um, I'm wearing a really, really neutral eye, a heavy wing liner, and then underneath I put this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Peacock, and it is just this really bright turquoise color, and it's perfect for this, like, aqua eye trend. There's hu this huge trend going on with aqua eyes. Now... I personally like to go very natural with my eye looks. To put this all over my lid is just a little too extreme for me. So I took this, I kind of smudged it under my lash line right there, and I think it's the perfect trend. Neutral eye, a little bit of trend, and you are good to go. So I love this kind of look that I have going on, and it's easy to kind of put a little color on your face for spring. Okay, you guys, so that is it for my spring trends or my favorite spring trends, and hopefully you guys liked my beauty and fashion picks, and let me know what you are loving this spring, all your trends down below. Like this video if you liked it, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!